town you never heard of. Hey everybody, welcome to the Common Folk Podcast with Ben, Morgan, and Andy. Welcome to the Common Folk Podcast with Ben, Morgan, and Andy. That was pretty good. You know, Andy. That little fluctuation in his voice there. Oh, okay. I was more concerned that he muted us before this. Oh, it's because you guys won't shut up. I can't get the back. I can't get the intro music to go (laughs) because it's me. Don't throw away Andy under the bus. It was me. Well, you included him when you said muted us. Okay. Well, he you did mute us. When someone asks me a question, I'm going to answer. And it was mostly because yeah, he he always goes, "Are you guys ready?" I was trying to mute you. And then actually. we say yes, and he goes, be quiet. Because you keep talking. But you just asked a question. <laughs> so we, should we say, mm, and shake our head yes? And we should go, if you just say, up. If you just say yes, and then don't say anything else. Okay. All right. As long as we know how to start this podcast. We've only say. been doing it a year. Yep. Do you want to We're have getting the controls? Systems. We're getting systems I put in place. I actually don't want do the you controls. Wanna, do you want to drive? No. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Well, then, no more comments. Andy, do you drive the controls on? Uh, where's the line? It uh, depends what we're doing, uh, okay. how we're doing it. But usually, uh, Gibran's on that side, so he he runs. He's it. got it. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. But we've done a, a few uh, remote deals. Yeah. You know, so and there's multiple different platforms we can do it over, but a lot of times I'll control it from my computer. Okay. So how was? Uh, your week with calling all those games that was good it was really fun was it uh feel good moment um there's these three girls that had been basically been four-year starters for millard south okay and they all had scored over a thousand points career they're all really good and they're like just kind of mirror images of one another they're either five eight or five nine uh very unselfish players um nothing like really jumps out at you athletically like can jump or whatever yeah um, but they would always get beat opening round at state. And this year, their senior year, uh, what, when it matters most, they're able to put together a run and pull it off and, and win the gold. Win okay. The I saw that, um, yeah. on Facebook that it said Millard South won. So it was pretty that's neat. cool. Yeah. And, and I got to call a couple of their games. So. Sweet. Yep. Yeah. So Ben, uh, how was your weekend? What'd you do? Anything great? Um... Hmm. Oh, let, wait, since I'm a talker, let me just answer that for you. Okay. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, don't <really> know. <laughs> I don't remember what I did. I was just thinking about this weekend because it was really nice. And we came out here in Joel's Andy shooting trap mm-hmm. for the Conestoga high school team. All right. Junior high. Yeah. High school. And uh, he couldn't make practice on Saturday because he had a bunch of basketball. Mm-hmm. And uh, we came out here Sunday and... Man, it was windy, but yes, was. that doesn't matter. He's going to have to figure out how to make it work. Yeah. That's so yeah. Uh, you've been having him out practicing, and he's going to today too, right? That's the plan, yep. Yeah, so uh, his first meet is Saturday, and I think it's going to be a high of 32. Yeah, it's going to be cold. So yep. That'll be fun. It's gonna I don't know. It's going to be cold, maybe a little wet. We'll do, see. Do you think – people that are listening know what we're talking about because i've actually said trap and this was in front of some girl moms and they didn't know what it was do you think most of these people know well i don't know i mean i guess trap shooting so you, it, you know pretty simply put is just shotgun shooting at clay targets which mm-hmm. most people have seen a clay target usually like a 90 percent of them are neon orange yeah mm-hmm. Um, there's a, a building out in front of you, 16 yards that has a thrower in it. That's tossing them at any random direction Mm -hmm. when you say go and, uh, and you get, so you got, you have, you shoot 25 per round and you shoot at 25 per round. So then however many you hit is your score and your handicap and Mm -hmm. keep moving on. So it's just a, uh, it's a skills competition with a shotgun. Okay. Well, I just didn't know if it, you think it was very common <clears throat> elsewhere. It's got to be. I mean, you were on the trap team. Andy, did you do this in your small town? Uh, we didn't have a team. You didn't. Um, okay. But, yeah, I mean, we always did it for fun. Yeah. Um, and I do think it's one of those things. It's 
like a growing sport or a growing hobby activity. Okay. Um, my buddies at the the brewery, they got into a league over the year. Hmm. Really? And yeah, so like an adult league? Yeah, like bowling or something. So like every Thursday or Wednesday afternoon, they would go out to like BDs or whatever, mm-hmm. um, and they would get. 50 targets thrown in two different sessions, you know, 25 really? at a time. And, yeah, they just kept score just like a bowling league or something like that. It sounded pretty cool. I'm like, well, let me know next time. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good I didn't way know to... that was a thing for adults. I mean, yeah. adults. So. Yeah, it'd be fun. Okay. All right. Well. So, yeah. Yeah. It'd be embarrassing for me how bad I am. Oh, but... stop. No way. I'm not very good. I've but... seen you shoot. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, so his eyes got big. <laughs> that was the <laughs> <laughs> that last pheasant episode, the first shot. <laughs> Not good? No, I know it should have been a layup for me, but yeah. Oh, I think I got it well, <laughs> I like to do it. I'm not great at it, but I think it's so fun. I love mm-hmm. shooting at those targets. Yeah, I've always crazy. just shot out of like, I've never I've never done like any kind of formal training. Mm-hmm. So it's always just been kind of like out of instinct, out of trial and error. Right. You know, that's how I've learned and I've become halfway decent. Yeah. Um, but it's it's kind of crazy going through this with him now and like all these techniques and mm-hmm. you know uh, the types of guns and the way to hold it and the way to look and the way to stand and you know uh, the adjustments on the guns on the butt stock for height and oh yeah that's you know left yeah. and right and all I mean all this mm-hmm. precision st- I saw a kid shooting on uh, online the other day that um, is like some kind of badass trap shooter. Mm-hmm. And he had like blinders left and right on his head, like like what you would put on like on a, a horse. horse. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. So he had these things like out on the side of his glasses. Mm-hmm. I guess to prevent like his I was say, peripheral vision. Or yeah, I don't know what was going gonna, on. Yeah. So if something flashes over yeah. to his right, it wouldn't take any concentration away. Yeah. Or even leave the window open for. <clears> That's not a bad idea. Huh. And I might you know eat my words before long, depending on how involved he gets. But straight out of the gate, I'm like, no. Yeah, we, we don't need all this juice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just uh, pull up the gun, shoot it. We're going to go yeah. out mm-hmm. with a field shotgun. Yep. We're going to learn how to do this, hit some clays, whatever. We're yeah. not we're not buying that $2,500 trap gun. Yeah, because that's be what like, the first thing they said. Yeah. It was, you should get a trap gun. And Ben's like, no, this is his hunting gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, all those little specifics and, and not talking trash about anybody that does all that. I'm sure when you get to like a really high mm-hmm. competitive level. Right. Then, yes, you better start doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Our boy is 12. Well, He's in sixth grade. Like, I mean, come on. Isn't that the way it is for all that stuff, though? Like, uh, I remember when I first started going out for track in middle school, you know, the ones that really got into it and you knew we were going to be good, they were buying $200 track shoes. Totally. Like, get out of here. This yeah. $40 pair is fine for me Mm -hmm. you know you're gonna wear them out and outgrow them in a year anyway speaking of that i remember getting a pair of spikes for track Mm -hmm. from like not the lost and found but somebody that just had donated them and only wore them a few times they were great yeah now so you would have been uh, we're about the same age you know do you remember those really fancy gold nike spikes oh yeah you couldn't you couldn't take the spikes off them so once you wore them two or three times you were done yep and they were the most expensive pair out there. I'm like, wow, you're like double downing on the cost, but then also the utility of it. Yep. Like it's only going to be good for about – and of course, man, those sprinters, the guys that were wearing the gold chains and the Oakleys, you know, back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> they all had those gold – I think Michael Johnson, the Olympic sprinter, I think they were his brand of shoe or whatever, mm. huh. signature shoe. Really? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Nice. But I – I just remember that. Anyway. Yeah. We are really good at getting off on tangents, aren't we? Yeah. Is that me? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Most likely. What was your topic today, hun? Uh, the topic I wanted to talk about today has to do with um, tipping. So, like, for service-type mm-hmm. work. Yeah. Tipping or, or gratuity, you know, whatever you'd call it. And the reason I want to talk about that is I feel like it's uh, it's – it's gotten a little bit out of hand. I, I think it's still necessary mm-hmm. in a lot of scenarios. But from what I'm seeing and some of the stuff that we'll dig into is like, I feel like there's these these places that you'll go to because the way that um, how you pay has changed. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Where most places anymore, it's like they have a, they're carrying around a little device that they bring, right? So let's say you go out to eat or something like that or whatever, whatever it is you're doing. Mm -hmm. They have a device that you pay right there at the table. Mm -hmm. Or you go to some store and it is, the, the devices have advanced to where like, you know, it's it's essentially like an iPad yeah. or or it's like, or it's basically like a phone, you know, it's this touch yeah. screen with all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's given the payment processor and the retailer a whole lot more real estate to um, ask more things of you, such as a tip. So mm -hmm. there's, and, and we've used these, um, these programs and these devices, like we will take the merchandise out to a farm show or wherever it is, and we have to have a way to process payment. But we don't have a tip line. But, but that's not, like, but my point is, okay. is that it's, it's a, it's an app yeah. on an iPhone or an iPad or mm -hmm. whatever, if you're using some other brand or device, doesn't matter. And you click in there, whatever the customer's buying, and then you give them the thing and you let them sign it. You can either push the button to turn on or turn off a tip suggestion. So mm -hmm. when we're out at one of those farm shows, I literally could flip that switch. And then when they, when I hand them the iPad to sign yeah. their signature, it'll, yep. the first thing it'll say is, do you want to leave a tip? Mm -hmm. And it'll have suggested percentages or suggested dollars or whatever. Sure, sure. So you either click one of those or you mm -hmm. click no and you move on. Um, but that whole that whole thing, and that's what I want to talk about today. It, it like it almost makes you feel bad. You get one of those. Oh, in sure, your hands. of course it does. Oh, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, uh -huh. like that gets handed to you, and you're like, uh, like first thought is like, why would I tip for this T-shirt I just bought? Didn't yeah? Didn't aren't you just doing your job right, right. now? You know, right. And, right. and and aren't I like gracing your your stand here, your booth, and I'm buying something from you right. Yeah. Right. yeah that and you know it's marked up a little bit we're at the show we're doing all this stuff and then they ask for more yeah so then and then it kind of makes you feel bad and like oh man so now i'm the guy who mm -hmm. didn't click on that 15 percent or whatever it was and 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 then you wonder like it's awkward do they see it like does it does it say right after that when i hand it back to them oh there's oh, a they, they there was a two dollar and fifty cent oh, tip yeah. included or that, they see that you know, and then you're the bad guy or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so the point is, is that like this whole thing is, has started to get built around that where it, it's just become like an expected additional cost in so many scenarios. Right. I think it's, oh, sorry. And it's, it's not just services like, like a waitress or a traditional means, well, for me anyway, a traditional service business is where you would tip like mm -hmm. a waitress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, now it's just like, all right, here's your t-shirt. Would you like to leave a tip? Right. Yeah. And, 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 and most of the people don't even say that. Like, they just nope. hand you the thing, and it's the first screen that you get. Mm -hmm. how, how much is the tip that you're going to leave? It's situational, I feel like, to me, because for that, that's re that's crazy. Good thing you turned that setting off. But, I mean, I do feel like restaurants, coffee, you know, I don't know, maybe your normal, whatever else would be in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems normal, but the way you're talking about with payment, I can even talk about scooters for one. They now have an app, and yep. you can like put your your tip on the app. Well, if you don't, then you just you can pay through your phone, whatever. Um, but I've actually gone through different locations. They're they're separately owned or they're franchise, whatever. Some people will ask, and do you want a tip? Mm -hmm. I think that is so ballsy. Hmm. I don't like it at all. It's so freaking awkward. Yeah, so I pay with a course. credit card. <laughs> I literally give you, tell me my total, $6.49. I give you my card and she asks me, do you want a tip? After what do you I, already tipped yeah, on your card? No, after, oh. after because there's no, like, you're not signing anymore. Mm -hmm. If you don't actually pay through your phone and they don't scan the little QR mm -hmm. code and you actually hand them your card, I just feel like it's so weird. And of it's, course, it's, I'm going to say yes. It's almost like, but I, it's so awkward. Tipping I hate it. used to be like a silent yes. thank you. Yeah, like can I put it on the table and run? So like you would fill that out, yeah. and then when the when the server would come back after you were gone, mm -hmm. they would pick that up and they would go, "I did a good job." Right. They gave me. 20% yep. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like it, like I mean that's what I'm saying it was like it was a silent thank you when you left. Like if you if you left nothing or 
in my opinion, sometimes even worse if you only left, say, 5%. Right. Then you're making a statement to that server of... Could have done better. Yep. Could have done a little bit better. So try a little harder next time, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's kind of that, that, that chance to give that feedback yeah. where anymore, like you, what you're talking about, if they're doing all the processing for you in their hand... And then they have to ask you that question because they need to process all of it. It's it's not something that you fill out later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it makes it really awkward it's because so at awkward. that point you are looking that server in the face or whoever that person is and either saying, yes, you did a good job or no, you didn't do a good job. Mm -hmm. Or it's just like, I don't want the weirdness. So yeah, yeah whatever. That's, that's me. So another profession that I feel tipping is totally acceptable and you should always do it is with your uh, hairdresser. Oh, yeah. A haircut, right? Absolutely. Because mm -hmm. I did um, hair for 10 and, years. And yeah. uh, Shay cuts our hair now. Mm -hmm. um, but every once in a while, because she's so busy doing a fantastic job, um, she can't get me in if I'm if I drop the ball and request something late. And I, then I'm like, no, nah, I got to get a haircut. You yeah. Know? So we'll run to one of the, you know, franchises, you know, along Highway 370 or yeah. whatever, and they'll, they'll give you four options there, and that's fine. But now it's it's low tip, middle tip, regular tip, you know, good tip or other. And and it's that way for – I've noticed that for a lot of other industries now where, like you're saying, with, okay, you bought a T-shirt. Would you like to leave low tip, middle tip, good tip? Or other. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, God. Can I just yeah. say what I want? Yeah. To tip? I, I, sometimes, sometimes I take Mr. Pink's uh, approach to yeah. it. You ever watch <laughs> Reservoir Dogs? No, I don't even know what that is. Old gangster movie by Quentin Tarantino. Uh uh. I mean, what would that be? It, well, it's one of the most hilarious uh, back and forth in cinema history. Okay. To some. <laughs> but uh, the mobster, the gang boss, is putting together this group, right? Mm -hmm. Gangsters to pull off this job. And he. He pays for everyone's lunch and he goes, all right, I got lunch. You guys all throw a tip, throw a couple bucks down. And Mr. Pink doesn't. And everyone notices. And that's their shtick. Like they don't know each other's names. So you're pink, you're blonde, you're Mr. Brown, you're Mr. Orange. Okay. Okay. So Mr. Pink doesn't. And it's Steve Buscemi to make it even funnier. Yes. So, and he just kind of stands, says, so, you know, like, like, don't look at me. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. They call him out <laughs> and he straight up says, uh, and they go back and forth with him, but his big long rant is, "I don't tip because society says I have to." All right, if someone deserves a tip, if they really put forth an effort, I'll give them a, something a little extra. But this tipping automatically—it's for the birds. As far as I'm concerned, they're just doing their job. Oh, <laughs> wow! And then he, wrong. he goes into a little bit further of an explanation, but there's a lot of uh, <coughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah. I forgot, you know, the hairdresser part for sure, which I don't know how I forgot about that because I did hair forever. But I do feel like um, it's just something. I don't know. And it like, is becoming like you said, you, we're I don't know. I don't like, even know how to say it. It's and like bell hops, I get it, thing. you know, um, like when you go on a, a trip and in a lot of cases, I just want to carry my own luggage. And yeah. They're quick to like grab it off the taxi or the Uber. I'm like, no, no, I don't. Don't. I don't. I don't want you to carry it for ten feet and then me owe you five dollars for carrying it ten feet. Yeah. Yeah. You know? uh, well, so that, that, that kind of annoys me. Yeah. At, it's at that times. the travel. There's a lot of travel mm -hmm. that I've been doing with the um, with Haley lately, and it's always somebody wanting to carry your stuff, or we're right. taking a um, an Uber, and you know you you got to leave them a rating, and you need to uh, tip them. I um. Speaking of travel and tipping, mm -hmm. I actually had a scary instance once where I didn't tip enough. And like what? I was I was straight up threatened. No, by the person? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. It was in Jamaica. Okay. And we're doing I think oh. I think that place was called Rick's, uh fancy little restaurant right on the shoreline there. Yeah. And nearby you could do cliff diving. And they have this really neat little walk up area and it's high and it's scary, but there's usually a, a line formed out front. <clears throat> And uh, and everyone just kind of waits their turn and does it. Yeah. Something you totally couldn't do in the States. Oh, of course. You know, due to this, that, or whatever. But Jamaica's like, hey, we're, we've been in a civil war for the last 200 years, so. Why not? <laughs> Jump off a cliff if you want to. Right. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, so, uh, and we kind of looked into it. And once you jump off that cliff, you're down this really nice little lagoon area. And there's uh, caves that go back into the wall back into that cliff okay 
Um, and there's there's little kids there doing backflips and jumping in, doing fancy dives, and then they come up and ask for a tip. It's like, I didn't ask you to do that dive. Get away from me. Okay? <laughs> I, don't care right? how, I don't care how cute and athletic you are. Leave no. me alone. Yeah. But then there's these big guys, you know, like big Jamaicans, you know, uh, dudes that are cut. And they're like, hey, we'll take you back to the uh, – we'll show you around this cave here. Um uh, for a tip, and it will show you where Bob Marley wrote some of his songs, blah, 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 you know, give you a big old spiel. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Like, like, we nah. just, yeah, we're like, nah, can we just explore ourselves? Like, right. we, we kind of already done this on YouTube. We know where to go and all this mm-hmm. stuff. And they're like, no, no, you you want to follow us. We'll get you to work. All right, fine. So uh, they take us nowhere special, you know, just kind of swim back here and then swim out front. Um, and then when we go to leave, he's like, well, I need a, where's our tip? And everyone, you know, throws twenty, fifty dollars at this dude. What? And I'm like, man, okay, so you, you took all four of us and you've already knocked down like eighty dollars, a hundred dollars. I'm like, well let me go let me go um uh, let me go get money because also I'm in my swimming suit and jumped off a cliff. I don't have my wallet on me. Yeah. Right. So, so it's I not run in your pocket? No. I, I run <laughs> yeah, my paper money. So I run back up, I I think I grab like ten, fifteen dollars or something like that. I give it to the guy, and he gets mad. And he goes, where's Ashley? I'm like, whoa, what do you want to talk to Ashley? That's my wife. I'm like, what do you but want to talk to Ashley? how does he even know her name? Because they, you know, they're you they acting really nice to us and getting to know us. All okay. The, all the bullshit that you hear from salesmen, you know? Yeah. Oh, you like kites? I like to fly kites, too. You know, they're right. doing that type of stuff. Okay. What's your name, Ashley? That's the most beautiful name I've ever heard of. <laughs> you must be from America or Europe or Canada. Shut you up. got it. You yeah. got it. Jermaine, you nailed it. So anyhow... Uh, I come, um, he's like, he just got pissed and like, he grabbed the money out of my hand and is like holding it real tight. I'm like, you just take that and go. He's like, no, you go get Ashley. And like, no, that's it, buddy. That is your tip from us. You already knocked down a bunch of money from our, you know, three or four friends that were with us. Uh huh. And he's like, well, this isn't enough. I'm like, piss on you. We didn't ask for your service. Whoa. We didn't want you there. You made it more uncomfortable than anything anyway. Like we would have liked to hung out a little while, but you're you're telling us we got to go, we got to do this. We gotta, like, you kind of ruined this whole experience for us anyway. And then now you're like threatening me, and you're telling me to go get Ashley, like, dude. And also, I knew that he wasn't allowed. Like we're at this break point where he was allowed on the beach. That's like a law, like in Mexico. Like there's no private ownership of the beach on the ocean. Okay. But I was on Rick's area. Like I was on the. The resort area. So he couldn't go up there. Yeah. Like he's so like, oh, you want to come fight me? Come on. No, I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing that. I wasn't pressing it. I'm but I'm kidding. like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, but we all understood what was going on. And yeah, it was just, it just really put a damper on the whole damn thing. Yeah. And it was, it was over tips. Hmm. It's like, and on top of that, like, I don't know. For, first of all, I don't think you deserve a tip. And I don't, we didn't want you there. And then you're going to tell me $20 or $15, whatever I threw at you wasn't enough. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm still like, what did he provide us? Like, yeah. what service did he provide us? He just than wanted just... free money and people yeah. feeling bad, like we're talking about with the coffee thing. Um, I got caught, I don't know, was it a year ago, two years ago? I didn't know if I should tip the ca- uh, carpet cleaners. Mm, like, there is you there, yeah. you know, ever a, can you think of a spot, Ben, or like that you've been in where you're like, do I, do I not? I don't know. Like, Well, yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of them. Like uh, car places, I don't know. Yeah, you, I mean, I guess in a car scenario, like if you go through a, an automatic car wash or whatever, you go through some car wash somewhere, and they have people at the end of it that like are drying. drying your car. Yeah, you know, do you tip them? I mean, a lot yeah. of people do. Not they everyone do. does. Oh, I okay. Mean, there's things like that. Um, I think it goes. What it goes back to, I think, if you can boil it down to me. There's two scenarios for tipping. Number one, which I think is uh, something that has come around second, but I'll start with it, is the fact that the employer has built in the possibility of tips to that person's pay. And I don't know what the legalities are, but there's some, isn't there something where like people in some kind of in in the service industry or whatever can actually get paid under minimum wage. Yes. Yes. With the idea that they're going to get these tips and then I don't know if you need to guarantee those tips or what the case may be in the order to keep minimum taxed. wage. 
Oh, they do. Yeah, like waitresses. Right, but my my point is is like let's say just for round numbers, let's say minimum wage is ten bucks mm-hmm. an hour, and so all right, I'm going to pay this server six because there's a really good chance that they're going to collect an additional four per hour as they're working in tips, and it's going to get them to that number. I may be completely butchering this, but I know that there's something there as mm-hmm. far as that goes. Okay. So that's a scenario that I'm talking about is like if that person's uh, pay is based on the fact that I tip or I do not tip, mm-hmm. in my opinion, that is a necessary scenario for tipping. For tipping, yeah. Um, there's a whole nother story there as far <laughs> as who owns the restaurant, who's running the restaurant, or whatever the business yeah. is, mm-hmm. and how much money they're making and what they're paying these people, and they're relying on us to pay their people that they don't even need to touch and all this kind of thing. There's a whole other story there. But the point is, is that I go to this restaurant or to this business, and that service provider, that individual, mm-hmm. needs my tip to make their money. And they've done a good job. I have no problem giving it to them. Yeah. It's just how it is. I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm the one. I didn't need to go there. I made the decision to go there, so therefore I also made the decision right. to toss that tip in. And it, it's just a good thing to do. Like when I'm talking traditional type stuff, mm-hmm. you, I, you want to do it. You want to help somebody out. And if they did a good job, then you even feel better about it. Yep. it it's just where we're kind of getting off track is since when did tips be expected for all these things that we're not even asking for? Right. Yes. Right. Or just it's and aren't you just doing your bare minimum job like filling out an order? One that I kind of – like, I don't know what to think of this. Um, you guys ever heard of Fiverr? No. Mm-hmm. It's an online service, and they, they do a lot of different things digitally for you. Like so design like, and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. if you wanted mm-hmm. a thumbnail, a really fancy thumbnail made for, like, a YouTube video. It's mostly graphic design type stuff, right? Right. Yeah. And and they'll do odd jobs for you, uh, too, like um, write a good script, something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. whatever you can dream up, mm-hmm. you probably find a guy on Fiverr to do it. Um, so I've, I've used Fiverr for a couple of jobs. Like, I don't want to waste a bunch of time on this. I'd rather just pay somebody $10 to knock it out. Mm-hmm. Um, but then after the transaction is done, there's that damn tip option. Mm. Oh, my gosh. It's like, what? I just, I pay, I already paid you for the making the graphic. And, and this is all, you're all doing this through this Fiverr website. And those people <laughs> right. that you're dealing with are freelancers. Yes. That Fiverr is kind of employing in, in parentheses and right. air quotes. Right. So who's getting that tip? And, and yeah, where's it going? Because you're paying Fiverr. And do, and do if I don't tip them, like the do middle option. Do they know your option, name? Yeah, if I don't tip them, the middle option. Yes, they know. Do my they name. remember that? Then the next time this That's kid's not saying. gonna tip. Well, yeah, because there's like a three or four day layaway on a lot of these jobs. Like, well, now we'll, if I don't tip them the right way, is it going to be a six day layaway? Or mm, I, you know what I mean? Like, right, it, right. like I I go back and forth. I've I've picked the middle option tip. Um, majority of the time, just because I don't know. You think you should. Yeah, I don't know just what to do you there. you think you should, yeah. But it also, I feel like that's false advertising and that it's bullshit. Then tell me it's $15. Don't right. tell me it's $10. Right. Yeah. Right. 100%. You know, like I'm fine giving this dude money for his services and what he's doing. But don't spring that on me after I thought everything was already done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. You know, I don't yeah. I, I agree. Know. It's 100%. I have no idea. And that's exactly what we're talking about. And then people are dealing with this stuff every day and you don't know how to navigate it. I've got um, – so the other thing that I think as far as tipping and like the roots of tipping and gratuity, mm-hmm. where this comes from, that I think helps kind of bring this whole thing together. So I want to talk about that. Okay. Uh, but before we do that, let's take a quick break. The Common Folk Podcast is brought to you by one of the newest and coolest brands in the outdoors, Stock and Rod. Stock and Rod brings to the outdoors person quality apparel items that you can be proud to sport. The gear is top notch and the designs are second to none. Stock and Rod also represents some of the biggest names in the outdoor social media and YouTube space by handling the design, production, and sale of their own branded merch. Check them out at www.stockandrod.com. Stock and Rod, wild game on. All right, so we are back. So, like I said, there's there's one other um, scenario that I think you can t- you can take just about anything today, and if you can rewind thirty, forty, fifty years, mm-hmm. you can find out like and and really realize oh, okay, that's where this came from. That's that's what's going on here. Okay. And my opinion is that tipping and gratuity 
probably started, and I think it should still exist today in this form, mm-hmm. uh, but it has been taken advantage of, uh, in the service industry. So let's just say you're at a restaurant. So it's the 50s and you're at some restaurant. Mm-hmm. Somebody would use their money to influence the server to give them the best service in the house. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, it probably, and this is just me guessing how this would have went, it probably was like, it wasn't something that you did at the end. It was something that you did maybe during. Mm -hmm. So the server would come up, you know, brought you some drinks, you're hanging out with your 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 friends whatever yeah hey here's here's a 20 uh yep. Yep. you know make sure you come over and see us every 5 minutes you know or mm-hmm. whatever so you're tipping like you're 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 using that money to gain a better overall service mm-hmm. and in the end that is what tipping is about mm-hmm. the difference is that today we do it after the fact so we expect them to prove themselves first and then we reward them mm-hmm. if they do. Um, so I think there's that. And then mm. it's it's been taken advantage of by the people who who pull the strings to say, oh, there's a little bit of extra money out there that we can use to to get to handle this or to handle this or to handle that. So it costs us less. Mm-hmm. And that's what it's evolved into. Yeah, that's my opinion. Especially the government. I hate the fact that they tax tips Mm -hmm. you're already you're already taxing a salary now you're gonna you're gonna tax uh an uh you know an abstract number has that always been there yeah basically yeah gift has that always been there or is that a newer thing i I don't think it's a newer thing at all i think it's been around for at least 30 40 years okay because i really have not ever worked to where i Mm -hmm. was getting a tip yeah, or like a waitress. No, I haven't. Job yeah, like that. have you? Well, you did. No. You did hair. What do you mean? Well, yeah, but I mean, I guess we're talking about restaurants. So no, I mean we're talking about tip tipping in general. Okay, well, you just use the scenario like yeah. in the fifties or whatever. So I was just thinking of that in my mm-hmm. brain. I've never worked, you know, like in a restaurant or in a coffee shop. But yes, doing hair um, for sure for ten, twelve years. But so other... if someone and and it depends on the payment method. But if someone were to pay you for um, that service you just provided them with a credit card mm-hmm. on some kind of app, and mm-hmm. they tipped you through that, then one hundred percent, like you're claiming that that's going to that's, getting that's going to the numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If like, someone decided, oh, I'm going to pay you sixty bucks for all this stuff you just did, but then here here's a twenty in cash. Mm-hmm. Thanks for doing a really good job. And honestly, I think that's why some people, hence like I know your dad's really good about having cash and he tips people in cash. Because I mm-hmm. think if you're thinking about it, servers, they can just pocket that. They may be told to claim that, but who's going to... Yeah, that's that's a, You know, that's like a is really there a gray area there? I kind of like that. Cause... I mean, honestly, like I know your dad's really good at that. Where I'm not great at having cash. Um, it does seem easier just to add it to the line, sign it. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure the server actually would prefer cash. Right. Well, oh, yeah. like last time Ozzy and I went and got haircuts real quick, uh-huh. you know, and we we're at Great Clips or whatever it was. It was yeah. one of the chain places. But we had two different stylists. You know, I, I had one and he had one and mm-hmm. you know, I paid all at once with, with the debit card. And so I leave a, you know, a nice 25 percent, whatever it was, tip. Um, so that, yeah, that that's on them now to divvy that up between. And I don't know. Right. I don't know who gets the most. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and what and what happens? I mean, there's so many things at play here. So that scenario, which which happens hundreds of times every single day in all kinds of businesses, mm-hmm. that's how you pay. That's how you make your tip. Uh, that business has to go ahead and process that tip. So let's just say your tip's ten bucks. That's going to process through that credit card machine or whatever it is they're using. Mm-hmm. Visa or whoever it is, the the particular bank that is their processor is going to take 2% of that or or whatever it is they're going to take plus 30 cents and blah, blah, blah. So they're going to end up with a dollar or whatever, something of Mm -hmm. this. Uh, So then they get that part of the tip. The business has processed it and handled it. They need to figure out how to get that into the employee's either check or hand. Does it come out of the drawer? What do they do? That mm-hmm. probably gets a little bit skimmed off the top. I mean, yeah. by the time you think about how all this money changed hands yeah. and all you intended to do 
was put ten dollars in that person's pocket because right. they did. Yeah, a good they're job. not getting that ten. Mm, so totally give them not. cash. Give and them cash. That's a great that's point like. too, because uh, all those processors skim off the top. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's just another way of that business. Let's say let's throw great clips under the bus here. Uh, they get to not pay as much because they're also taken out of the tip jar. Mm-hmm. You know, like <laughs> that's yeah. kind of shitty. Yeah, I mean the business. <laughs> the business based on a couple of things that we looked up. I haven't confirmed this, but it was kind of weird. I never even knew it said something about a, uh, you know, we have a minimum wage in this country Mm -hmm. and in different states, but we also have a tipped minimum wage. So I knew that, yeah. I've never heard anybody talk about that. Yep, so that's taken into account that since they're getting tips, we don't have to pay them $9.25 an hour. We can can get away with paying them $6.15 or whatever. So if you are are classified as a worker that may receive tips, then I guess the business can say, oh, hey, yeah, no, we can pay you this tipped minimum wage. Then on uh-huh. top of that, use the tip jar to help pay for their taxes, <laughs> the yeah. business taxes. It's, yeah. it's kind of crazy when you think about it. Like, it really is. People have to do their own diligence to understand what's going on in the business that they're um, that they're going to mm-hmm. to figure out: should I be tipping? Should I not be tipping? Who's going to get this money? Mm-hmm. You know. Well, and I don't care. You always feel like a like a cheapo, like a jack wagon if you don't tip. Yeah, you do. And, and even if it's just a blatant, like, no, I just gave you $35 for this hat. I don't think I should tip $5 on top of that. Or, like, mm-hmm. what, what's an appropriate tip after going to a booth, mm-hmm. buying an right. overpriced hat, mm-hmm. and then would you like to put a tip on it? Like, you know what, what else? This is a little bit off, but now at hy V, they're like, do you want to donate to oh, blah, blah, God. blah, round up yeah. your cents? Hmm. Every time, do you not feel like an ass when you don't do that either? Oh, you I can't know. spare your thirty. That's what I'm saying. The, yeah. sur- the checkout lady isn't asking, mm-hmm. but, or maybe she has. But at, when I check myself out, what's and I funny, always say yes. Like, what's funny about that? Exactly what you're talking about. Number one, uh, at least in our area, the fastest growing monster is Casey's, mm-hmm. and Casey's is the king of that shit. Yeah. It's like every other time you go in there, there's a new thing. Like children's hospital. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to yeah. round up to feed the hungry? Do you yeah. want to do you want to yeah. round up to save local animals? Like all these kinds of things, right? Uh, but to your point, what I think is funny is you sit there and and you go through the checkout line at Hy-Vee and say they're doing that, mm-hmm. and you're checking out with a person, and mm-hmm. they ask you that. I am more likely to be like, yeah, that's fine. If I go through the self checkout. The self checkout still asks you that. Yes, and you say no. I say no every time. Yeah, they've never. I, 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 I say yes there sometimes, but they've never <laughs> asked me. Yeah. But I just feel like yes, you totally could get away with what do, it. What do you mean they never asked you? I've never. They've. I've never had a person straight ask me if really? I want to round out. Really? Wait, no. Where? At V. Then what are you talking about? I'm just talking about the self checkout where you see it. It still comes up on screen. And you screen. just feel like so still, a jerk. So you feel guilty even yeah. if it's just a screen. Yeah. But oh, wow. yeah, I that's do. that's funny. But what but at V, if you're going through if you're going through a, a an aisle that is manned by a, you know an actual worker, you don't see that screen. No, you don't see it, but they could probably ask they me do and ask. I've never been asked. They do. They've they, asked they you? Ask, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've never been asked. So I wonder if it's like if if V is less aggressive with their employees about it or they something. They must be. What I don't like about that, and McDonald's started this in my mind. They had that little jar out front oh, there yeah. to go to the Ronald McDonald House. Yeah. A great cause. But if you had extra change, you could put it in that jar. Mm-hmm. Fine. So be it. Mm-hmm. It's turned a corner here where now they're actively asking for it. And even with McDonald's, I used to always think like, Boy, they're just they're taking all the credit for doing that, all the money they quote unquote donate. I'm like, no, that was my pocket change, mm-hmm. you know. Like, mm-hmm. but they take all the credit for it, and now I feel like it's turned this corner where they're asking for that. Hey, would you mind rounding up for sick kids? No, I hate sick kids. <laughs> right. I know. If yeah. you say Why no, you feel like up? I know. Toughen up. <laughs> Jesus, I yeah. know. It just deficiency of vitamin D. Get outside, <laughs> right? I don't know, but yeah. I know just... you just. I don't know. That's a spin a, off the tip talk <laughs> topic, a, but so a terrible story. Okay, uh, and and I won't tell the whole thing because I feel bad about it even today. But um, the big box store next to Peru State College, you know, like the Walmart. Okay, um, they would do that. They would ask you to round up or donate a dollar to this or that cause. And they also had a deal where if you're a 
college student. You have your college ID on you. You got 15% off whatever your purchase was. Perfect. And every time I would go in there and ask for it, I would, I would fumble it some way. I didn't have my student ID. I didn't ask for it before the purchase, whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. right? So after fumbling it three or four times, I'm like, this time I'm going to do it. I'm going to remember. I'm going to remember it, right? Okay, good. So Ashley and I were fumbling around. We get all of our crap. We go to check out. And as soon as that hits the conveyor belt, she just grabs it and rings it up. I go, no, no, I, I'm a Peru State College student. She goes, oh, too late. I already rang you out. <gasps> and so I'm fuming now. I would have been like, like, I'm done now. I'm like, I tried to get that, right? And I'm a college student. I'm mm-hmm. broke as shit. Mm-hmm. And then didn't even, she didn't even skip a beat. Would you like to donate another dollar to MS? <laughs> and I let her have it. I said some meanie pants things. I didn't cuss or anything. I didn't even raise my voice. But I said some pretty hardcore stuff where she just like almost fell over and goes, well, I just... I hope you go have a good life. <laughs> like that's how, that's how, and Ashley was beside herself. She's like, oh, Jesus, can we just go? <laughs> but I, I mean, I was pissed. I couldn't believe it. You jip off a student. There's dumb little college thing. Yeah. A ploy that, that you put out there to get us to go there. Mm-hmm. I do all the steps after fumbling up three or four times. And then you turn around and ask me for fifteen percent back. Mm-hmm. You know, like, God, mm-hmm. that just hit me wrong. Yeah. yeah. So No, and it, it is. It's frustrating, man. I mean, you look at all that, and I feel like businesses. Uh, g- she was aloof to the whole damn thing. She yeah. was aloof to everything that she did to me in the spot she put me in. Sure. And yeah. the fact that, you know what, this guy might be pissed off and might not be okay with it. Yeah. yeah. Like, what I was thinking or how I was feeling, that was not until I brought it to the forefront. Yeah. And then even then, she thought, wow, he really is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I think when we, if we go back to the tipping thing, like businesses should be upfront and honest that if if they are in fact paying their employees based on the fact that that employee is going to receive a tip Mm -hmm. like i I think we should know that i don't think we should have to guess Mm -hmm. you know what i mean Mm -hmm. um because that would motivate me more to want to tip that individual i'm still going to expect that they give a good service Mm -hmm. and i'm going to base whatever their tip is off of that yeah but i want to know you know what i mean like i don't like so like as an example today you and I, oh, yeah. last minute, uh, we're getting – and people who will listen to this episode have listened to last week's episode yeah. about um, – We got a new – Yeah, we had to get a new washing machine. So <laughs> that gets delivered today, and um, and and the timing's all weird. So mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, Andy, can you meet at the place so you can help me carry this thing in and out? So mm-hmm. you do. And I'm like, man, the, you know, these guys are out here. They're working – cool dudes i feel like i need to give them a little bit of a tip Mm -hmm. i don't know if i need to they might be getting paid great yeah i don't know yeah is a tip worked into it for them yeah so did you tip them i did yeah yeah how many i gave them 10 bucks each way bigger tip than what i got oh you got none i got none and you didn't get (gasps) they got a 200 percent bigger tip than that (laughs) and he got got zero and you just had to be the nice neighbor and come on over yep no, I was happy to help. But that's but that's my point is like I I want to know mm-hmm. like if those dudes, you know, went out of their way, provided me good service because he was just kind of making himself available for yep, you. Yep, called me wandered, on yeah. the way there. Hey, you know, let let me know fifteen minutes before he's there. You know, hey, kind of wh- wandering around the machine there for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, is there anything else you yeah. need? You mm-hmm. know, like you're okay. You did you did a great job. Maybe he wanted a tip. Maybe I don't know. That's my point. Yeah, is was that he we fishing don't, for one or not? We don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. yeah. I don't know. But that he was nice and helpful, and he got one, I guess. And it was cash, obviously, because there's yeah. no. Mm-hmm. You already paid for it, so. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I give him cash. Uh, but but those are the scenarios. Like I feel like we should we as the consumers should know. Mm-hmm. Is this person is part of what they're doing? Is they are working for tips, or are they just getting paid? Yeah. As anyone else God, does. There's just so much, like we already said, there's so much going on there. Like with the Fiverr deal, like mm-hmm. I am totally fine with spending $25 on this, but just let me know that up front, mm-hmm. you know? And also, it, this is all online, this is all virtual uh, storefront stuff. Who gets that? Or how does it get divvied up? Like you went mm-hmm. down that rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I just don't, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. And, and is a tip, like in that scenario, like I gave that guy that money, I'll never see that guy again. Mm-hmm. Ever, uh, well, if your dryer goes out, 
Yeah, probably will. God, don't say that. Uh, but if, <laughs> if, knock on wood. If, uh, if it's a, let's say it's a restaurant that I frequent, mm-hmm. that I'm going to see that server every other week, mm-hmm. then right. I'm building goodwill. Yeah. Like, yep. oh, hey, there's Ben again and his family. Yep. Like, oh, let me make sure I take good care of him because he's a good tipper. Yep. You know, like that's, yeah. to me, that, and that goes back to what I said after the break. In my mind, that was the origination of this thing mm-hmm. was let me throw some money at this that gives yep. me that really above and beyond. You're influencing performance. Yeah. Is what, what's going on there. Yeah. Or you're just straight up saying, thank you for doing a good job. We really right. appreciate this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now it's it's taken on this life of its own where corporations, governments are totally flexing, taking advantage. Yeah. And mm-hmm. how does it slow down or stop? Or And I just don't see it. <clears throat> it's just going to keep rolling Gotta going take, up, you gotta know. Take the Mr. Pink approach from Reservoir Dogs. Well, I mean, the thing <laughs> is, is like, and and I would imagine, you know, if anybody's listening to this that's involved in the service industry, I bet tips are dipping right now. Probably. I mean, as much as everything costs, if that's if that's the way that this is going to continue, you oh, know, you ask how does this yeah. stop? Well, and that's what sucks. Don't you feel like there's going to be a spillover where, yeah, the tips are going to get less, but then also your your traditional servers, hairdressers, where. Tips are expected. Now they're getting lumped in with this fiber stuff, mm-hmm. with this, you know, mm-hmm. you're doing, you dropped off a dryer, now I tip you, you know, like they're getting they're lumped in with They're diluting it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, that's not fair either. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's it's got it's get gotten away from the true service industry mm-hmm. where you throw a little bit extra because you provided a really good service yep. as opposed to, I'm just selling a product and hey, do you want to throw a tip in? And we totally get it. It's a different thing, but- after after we buy something, you ask us to round up, or would you like to donate another dollar to this hospital or that? Like that feels like you're tipping. You know what I mean? Because you're does, asking yeah. for money after mm-hmm. the yeah, damn service purchase. Yeah, it does. Purchase. That's so, why I was thinking of it too. Yeah. It just yeah. different. So mm. interesting, yeah. interesting topic. I'm sure it could be spun tons of different ways if some server was sitting here or a bartender and they're like, I need those tips. And yeah. what if they have to pool them all and then divide them at the end of the night? I mean, there's so many different things, but, mm. um, I do think to me, cash is a good way as, I as we keep talking about it. I, I feel like, like we need to do that a little bit better. And, um, could I, people leave us comments on, I mean, I would like to hear if, yeah. from anyone who is involved in the industry and how that's been going and how it looks. Um, and, and what do you do? I mean, what, what was your suggestion? Mm-hmm. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I would love to hear from everybody. I'm a, one. I'm a, I'm a 20% guy. Mm-hmm. If it's decent, I'm throwing 20% on the, on the ticket. But do you do 20% of the total or 20% and then on the tax? I pretty much just do like, I, I mean, I just get the bottom line on the Whatever on the, the total is bill at 20%. Yeah, okay, that's it. what I do too. But some people are like, no, you got to just look at the actual price, yeah, take get, the tax I out. get it. Oh, I yeah. get it. Yeah. But <laughs> either way, I feel like if I'm throwing that person 20%, then they need to understand when I left that, hey, you did a good job. You did it. You know, but, mm-hmm. the, and it's, it's very rare, but it does happen where I'll be like, no, nope, we're out of here. The bill's mm-hmm. just paying the bill. Let's go. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I didn't tip twenty percent. That, but then I feel like such a jerk if I leave. Like, what if they just had a bad day? You know, and <laughs> happens. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. Sure does. You know, but, I yeah. know it's it's bad, but you gotta work. You gotta work. You for gotta that. yeah. Mm-hmm. If you're that in money. that industry. Yeah, I always got a kick out of an old boy from Lynch. He would always put the tip underneath the plate, so the server would have to bust the table to get the tip. <laughs> oh, I mean that's just kind of funny. Like, <laughs> because sometimes know? the bus boys then would probably just nab them. Well, I guess I don't know. I just thought it was kind of a funny thing you'd do, and everyone's like, "Oh, that's that's don't do that. that. Why would you make him do that?" Like when he leaves, they're like, "That asshole, he didn't tip." Right, and, and then they lift the plate up, like, "Oh, oh no, he, did. he was a nice okay. guy." All right, we did do an all right. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Well, um, I don't really feel like we accomplished anything. No, it was just a, dis- a but, round table discussion. But we, we might get something out of these comments. I would love yeah. to hear back from people. Yeah, square table sure. discussion. Oh, I like that. A square table discussion. Rectangle. I said we're, we're just a round table discussion. Then I'm like, re- okay, rectangle. rectangle. Okay, rectangle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Yep, All right, it was boys. Just a discussion. So. so. Okay. Uh, Have a good rest of your week. Is that it? Are we, yeah. Oh, you're done? I think so. I'm done. Oh, Bye. I'm shutting this thing off. <laughs> okay. Peace. I think so. Later. Right. Cool. <laughs>
Do I get a tip? 